Welcome to this class. This is a video on representation of vectors. But before I talk about that, I want to talk about scalars first. How do we represent scalars? Scalars does not give us any problem. If you want to represent scalars, just write down the magnitude and attach a unit to it. For example, speed is a scalar. If the speed of a car is 60 <coughs> km per hour, so we just write this magnitude and attach a unit to it. That's all. No any direction indication. We just write it like this. Then another scalar is length. Length. If the length of a table is 5 cm, or let me say the length of a book is 5 cm, then we just write 5 cm, no direction attached to it. That's all about scalars. And we can add scalars algebraically so far if they are the same quantity. So far they are the same quantity. We can add them mathematically without any law guiding it. It's only mathematical law that is guiding it. But for vectors, that is not the case. Now, for any vector, if you want to represent vectors, for instance, uh, if the vector is velocity, for instance, and the velocity is 60 km per hour, we have to know the direction of this velocity. Let's say north 30 degree east. So you can see that after writing the magnitude, and its unit will also attach a direction to it. This is how we write, this is how we represent vectors. Because vector is more than ordinary magnitude. Both magnitude and direction define a vector. Now, apart from that, diagrammatically, we can also represent vectors diagrammatically with a straight line. Straight line. So, straight line, excuse me. This, I want to use the same vector that I claim. So we said the speed, uh, the velocity, we said a velocity is equal to uh, 60 km per hour in the direction north 30 degree east. So to represent this, we use a straight line, straight line, and then we will have an arrowhead on top, an arrowhead. Now, the length of this line from here, from the tail to the head, represents the magnitude, which is 60 km per hour. Now, the direction that this arrow is pointing at represents the direction of the vector. I can just first draw four cardinal points to it. It's more than this. I'm just trying to show you in a simple way first before we start calculating. Now, this is not 30 degree east. This is north. This is east. This is south. And this is west. I will just put my 30 degree here. This is not 30 degree east. So the whole of this diagram or this arrow alone represent the ve vector, represent this vector, this vector on the border, 60 kilometer per hour. Now, apart from using vector diagram, to represent vectors. Uh, no, from this diagram that we have, we can see that vectors cannot be added mathematically. We must follow a particular rule. That rule is called parallelogram law of vector addition. So in the next subsequent video, we'll be looking at that. Now, apart from using diagram to represent vectors, we can also use letters so and each letter will carry an arrow let's say the velocity is v we put an arrow on top and we write 60 kilometer per hour so it's alone even without writing the magnitude if i write v like this v represents a particular vector v the vector can be velocity or any other one it represents a particular vector or you can use double capital letter, AB, meaning that, and I put arrow here, 
meaning that this vector is moving from A to B. So look at the arrow. I can represent that with a line, with a line, let's say from here to here. So this vector is moving from A to B with this direction indication. Now, on the other hand, BA is another vector. That means I'm moving from B to A. So this vector, this opposite vector to this, an opposite vector to this, moving from B to A. So now this V, if I invert the arrow on top of it, this is moving in the opposite direction. Uh, let me use another vector. Let's say V vector V1. Let vector V1. This is opposite to vector V. So it's moving in another direction. You can see direction is very important in uh, physics. So subsequently, we'll be looking at more concepts under scalars and vector. In some textbook, apart from instead of using a letter with arrow on top, they will write the V in bold with bold ink. So this bold ink indicates that this is a vector. Then for scalars, they will now write uh, for scalars, they will use ordinary letter, like not letters that are not bold but this one is bold we use it for vector also but as a student it's very important it's better to use a letter with an arrow head on top so thank you for viewing this in the next video we shall be looking at more concepts